Oh snap, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. You caught me at a bad time, man. Just caught some face up on the bed. Had to give him a good old fashioned beat in East London style, man. As I told you before, I got some um, fakes in. Let me just show you real quick, I got this fake Ralph Lauren Polo in. Got this fake Montclair right here, you saw it in the last video. And as you know, I sold you already, I got that fake Canada Goose in, guys. Oh, woo, these fakes, man, they're looking kind of good still. And I thought, you know what? Since the fake ball that was around, I had to give them a good old fashioned beating. Bam, here we go. And the good thing is, I've got me, I've got myself um, a gilet from Harrods. So we're going to check that out. We're going to see what that's saying. And as you know, I've got some, I've got a Montclair Polo lying around somewhere. So we're going to use that to do a comparison, okay? So that's that for a minute. But yeah, man, those fake, those fake versus rules are going to be coming. So that's all blessed. But what I'm here to show you today, Bam! Got all this stuff right here, guys. Got all this stuff from Flannels writing. Uh, you lot, you lot have been asking me for ages, saying, Hoxton, when are you going to start doing some Paul and Shark? And I thought, you know what? Let me get this show on the road. Let me get some Paul and Shark in. So that's that. Got this nice Paul and Shark hooded kind of jacket. Top right here. It's not really a jacket. It's more of a hoodie, really. Is it a jacket? Nah, it is kind of a jacket. It's like a jacket hoodie. Bam, got this one right here, got the pull and shark on the back as you can see. So that's all blessed. So you know I've been asking for ages saying Hoxton man, get some pull and shark in. So I thought, you know what? Let me get some in. Let me give you my thoughts, let me give you my reviews. This is the first time I've got pull and shark in, so I'm really looking forward to giving it a review and sharing it with you, okay? So guys, without further ado, let me do what I always do. Let me prep myself up. Bam! Let's see what this stuff's saying. Yeah? Two seconds. Okay, chaps, so I got all the stuff on the bed now, man. Even had Mr. Baseball Bat over here. He was getting vexed because of all those fakes running around. But don't worry, Mr. Baseball Bat, we're going to be sorting that out all soon, yeah? So you don't need to do anything for now. Just kick back for a minute right about now. We're going to be looking at some Paul and Shark. So, guys, as I said before, what I did is I jumped over to flannels.com. I got myself some Paul and Shark. Ever since I started doing this, people have been asking me for Paul and Shark, and I've been like, yeah, 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 I'll be getting some in. But finally I got some in, so I'm super chuffed to do that. And even one thing is, every time I go um, to the airport, there always seems to be a pull and shark there. So I have walked around, I have seen a few of their bits, and I have liked some of the stuff that they've been seeing. Some of the stuff, if I'm to be honest with you, I don't really feel as all that, but then some of the stuff, I feel it looks really, really good. So, as I said, I jumped onto flannels, and I've got these bits right here. So let's see what they say, okay? I love this flannels bag, man. So many of you lot keep sending me the pictures of the flannels bag saying, Yo, Hoxton, I love the flannels bag. And I love them too, guys. I use them all the time. Yeah. Super blessed. So this is it. This is it right here, man. This is it right here. And actually, do you know what? Before I start, a couple of you cats have been asking me for shout outs. I don't usually do shout outs. So I get so many, but I thought, you know what, Hoxton, stop being greedy. Spread some love. So I thought, you know what? Let me just shout out a couple of cats real quick. Bam. First shout out goes to Skull and Bones, man. He's been following me on the old um, Snapchat. He's been following me on, on the old YouTube. And he wanted a shout out. So Skull and Bones, man. Big shout out to you. Thanks for following, bruv. All the way from Scotland. I've got so many people following me from Scotland. So yeah, big shout out to you. Also got Harry as well. He's on the Snapchat. He's been asking me for a shout out. So he gets a shout out. And I've got Freddy LUFC. He's been asking me for a shout out as well. So I know it's going to be absolutely crazy me doing this, but if anyone else wants a shout out, send me a Snapchat, send me an Instagram, ask for a shout out. But guys, so many of you guys message me, man. It's no joke. So many of you guys messages, message me all the time, every single day. It's got to the point where I can't answer all your messages. I do try to answer as many as I can. So if I don't answer you, don't get vexed. Maybe just resend a message and say, oh, Hoxton, don't forget me. But look, man, 72 messages still on there from people that I haven't even answered yet and I've still got all these messages here. There's tons of you, man, so many. So yeah, if you want a shout out, send it through. But remember guys, I'm only gonna be, did, be doing like three or four, so I might not be able to do all of you, so you never know. Might be like a lottery if you uh, if you get chosen, yeah? But that's that for the minute. This is like the first time I'm really looking at it, to be honest with you. First time I'm really looking at the item properly. Like, I know I've taken it out of the pack, but, haven't seen it in all its full glory, so let's have a look. 
So this top here, that's, that's a lot of money, man. That's two nine five for this, and it's it almost looks like a hoodie to me. So it is a jacket, but it almost comes across like a hoodie. Two nine five, that's a lot of cheese right there. I got myself a size large. It's got this net finish on the inside. Just having a look at that. If I turn this inside out, I can see that the net finishing doesn't go all the way through. So it's only on the only on the inside of the jacket. It's not on the arms. Let me just see what zips they're using real quick. If you look at the zips there, just notice that they're using Riri zips. Now Riri, I have seen Riri on Montclair Gam Blue stuff. I've got a Montclair or Land jacket that uses Riri zips. I have also seen that on Prada, I believe, and I think I've seen it on Dolce & Gabbana as well. So yeah, Riri are also big boy zips. They are very similar to Lampo and they are very similar to the um, YKK. So yeah, Riri are legit guys, if you see that know that they're sound as well they are a separate manufacturer that make zips for designer brands so that's that um just looking at the Paul and sharp logo here look at the logo there man the only problem i'd have with this is this looks like it might peel off after time man sometimes these prints on the fabric like that that's the only concern i'd have if you had that for a long time that might peel off if any of you've had any experience with that peeling off let me know because that's one of the things i may be concerned about yeah this looks reflective right there that bit there looks reflective i might try and take a picture of it and put it on your instagram so we can see what it looks like with the reflection got a little zip um compartment in there just want to make sure that they're still using riri and actually they're not is it riri they're not even using it i mean i'm just nitpicking now man it's no big deal but I just want to check everything on the item. It doesn't even look like they're using Riri zips on all of them. They should be, but yeah, no huge deal. Just me being pernickety. Um, yeah, they're using some metal. Um, they're using some metal on the pull cords there, so that's really good. And what I've even liked there, and this is what I like. Um, Stone Island should start doing this, I reckon. Again, it's just me nitpicking. It's not a big deal, but they are using the um, engraved... Um, studs there, the engraved detailing, which to me is just a nice touch, man. I mean, these items cost a lot of money, man. We want to see little bits of detailing. We want to see stuff that separates it from other normal high street brands. Otherwise, what separates it from a high street brand? Detail, right? That's what I reckon. Anyway, so let's see. Um, let's see what the materials are made of. Let's see what's inside. So, size large there, made in Italy, which is really good to see. We would assume that if it's made in Italy, it's of a higher quality, probably better materials. Not always, I'm just saying, it's something that we probably would assume. Um, so, there we go, 100% cotton, uh, 66, 66 polyester and 32% poly polyfurane. So, I guess that's going to be what's probably giving it a bit of an elastic because it almost feels very, just maybe not, but it feels a little bit stretchy, just a touch. It's probably making the material a little bit firmer with that construction. To be honest with you, at 295, I do think it's a lot of money, man. I do 300 pounds for this, I think it's a lot. Um, bam. The hood can come off there. So if you don't want to wear the hood, you can do that. All in all, I just think the top is alright. I, I don't think there's anything super great about it. I don't really know too much about the Portland Sharp brand. As far as I'm aware, I thought the brand was English, but apparently it is an Italian brand. So there you go. Um, I, when I put a picture on the old Snapchat, someone was like, Hoxter's turning into my dad, man, because my dad wears this stuff. So I guess Portland Sharp really was aimed at the, at the older market back in the day, but I can see now with some of the designs and stuff they're coming up with, they are trying to market to more of a younger crowd. So I've got so many people asking me to have a look at this. So yeah, that's it for the minute. Just want to see if they're using Riri. So yeah, good to see they're using Riri on the inside zips. Are they using different materials on the inside? Yes, they are. So that's really good to see as well. Even got some um, engraving there on the inside, I just noticed. So that's really good. The reason why I like stuff like this is because when it comes to fakes, um, fake counterfeit is really pay too much attention to detail so the more detail that manufacturers put into items the harder it is for counterfeiters and the easier it is for us to spot but yeah i really like what they've done here man they put like a little neck kind of detail in there so that's good that's a good thing to see i like that and i guess when you put your hands in there it, it that's going to help protect if it gets too sweaty or if it gets too hot it's got the little holes in there so the air can go in and out so yeah just a nice detailing man i do like that oh blessed that's that one, man. That's that one. The only thing I don't really like about this is this. I don't really like this bit here. It looks a bit cheap. That They've put a material on it and they put the pull and shark. Not really feeling how they've done that. That looks a little bit cheap to me, but that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. 
Maybe it's me being fussy. Paul and Sartre there on the back. And looking at this uh, material here, that looks all reflective as well. And even got some reflective bits up on the shoulders. One thing I do like that they've done though, is they've put this um, different material here on the arm patch and on the front of the chest, which is nice. So yeah, do like that detailing. So yeah, man, I'll be trying that on the side so you can see what he's saying. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. 295 for that one. Bam, got another Paul and Shark in here. I can't even remember what I've got, but let's bust this and see what he's saying. Real quick. Okay. Like that Paul and Shark bag, man. That's quite cool. Competition. You're in competition. Loving that bag, man. Easy. Let's just open that. Bag upon bag upon bag, man. Got three bags in there. All blessed. Wicked. Bust that open. Blah. There we go. Woo. Paul and Shark competition, yo. Not even sure how much this was. What I might have to do on this one is I have to put the price in below so we can see how much that is because I'm not really sure. But yeah, got all the tags in there. It says Paul and Shark competition. So obviously it's got a picture of a yacht there. It's like a yachting. Um, they do clothes for people that have yachts, I guess. Or that's that's the brand image, I guess. Even got a little sticker or something in there. What's that, like a fridge magnet or something? Oh, bless. Shot looks kind of happy though, still. So yeah, man, let's have a look in more detail. Do you know what? I really like the, the yellow detailing that they've put on there, man. That looks nice. Do you know what? The, the quality of the stitching is really good. You can see that straight away. The stitching and the quality and the way they've put the materials of the fabric, it's actually really good. It's actually really, really good. Look at that stitching there. Look at the stitching detail in there. That takes time to do, man. This is not quick stuff. This is people taking time for the detailing to see, man. It goes all the way around the hood. It drops back into the yellow again, and we've got the size L there, size large. So I'm reckoning, I'm going to try it on. I think the size L is probably going to be something around a 41, maybe 42 inch chest. Got Paul and Shark engraved there on the back, on the button star. That's nice to see. The more I look at the item, the more I appreciate it, because I can just see that they're using lots of detail, man. And I like that. I like that a lot. I like this hoodie. This is a hoodie. This is not a jacket right here. This is nice. Um... The only thing is it doesn't, although they've put a lot of detail in, although it's really nice, it still doesn't scream out to me something that's overly special, man. Uh, got Paul and Sharp badge there. I mean, okay, look, let's look at this. Let's look at this for a minute. I've got something that looks very, very similar to this, actually. Let me see if I can just find it. Um, there we go right there man I've got one of my super dry tops and I love this top man I usually to be honest with you I usually wear this one to the gym I do really like super dry I really just like super dry for their tracksuits to be honest I really like their tracksuits I think they're really good quality and the reason why I brought this out is because yeah I mean fair enough this one's this is not a spring summer top you guys know now I always like my thick bits because when I see something that's thick it just for me in my mind it kind of equals quality and when I look at the, actually, I thought this was going to be thicker than this, but it's actually the same. So maybe, no, it's not too far off. It's not too far off. Okay, guys, so I was thinking that this one was a bit thicker than this. I was thinking this one was probably a bit more better quality, but I'm feeling this. It's not too far off, actually. It's not too far off. So, yeah, you can see there that the material there, if you look at that, that looks like it's going to come off a little bit more easier. But you can see that doesn't really happen on this. That doesn't really happen so that's a good sign that means it's a good quality cotton but i just feel like it's a little bit thin man i don't know I can't put my finger on it this one is definitely not for me man i do appreciate that they've got a lot of detail in there it does look nice but for me i'm not really too sure but again guys you're gonna see me trying this on on the side you're gonna see me um, wearing this and see what he's saying but yeah, not really too sure about that one, guys. And even this jacket here, this is really nice, but I think for 295, for me personally, I think it's a lot. That's just for me. A lot of you guys will be looking at this thinking, nah, Hoxton, man, this is the one. I'm really feeling this because I know so many of you like Paul and Shark. So yeah, man, that's it. I've got this in. I thought I'd show you. Let me just look at the zips real quick. 
I really like these zips man, nice chunky silver zips right there, really as you can see, really feeling that and the, the track looks solid, look at that track, I love the way the colour is different from the uh, from the material and the track man, that's really nice, just want to have a look on the outside and look at that, got the really, um, you can see that kind of it looks like a pair of knuckle dusters there as well, so we know that's Riri. Just want to see if the other one does that as well. Yep, you can see there as well. You can see we've got the knuckle dusters, so that's how we know that they're Riri, guys. How cool is that? So anyway, man, yeah, look, I'm not really too sure about these two. Maybe it's just because they're lightweight jackets. I'm not really feeling them as much. Maybe I've got to get in some more of their heavy knits or more of their heavy jackets. So maybe what I'll do is when the winter time comes, I will be looking into those in more detail, okay? So guys, that's it for the review, man. I hope you guys are feeling that. That's my thoughts on them. I think they're really nice. I think they're a bit much for the money. I can't remember how much this one is, so you're gonna see it at the bottom. But this one was 295. I think for me, it's just a little bit much. So those two might be going back, okay? That's it for the minute. Guys, if you wanna see more reviews, I'm definitely gonna be venturing out into more brands. Give me some suggestions on brands that you think are really cool, and I will review them, okay? That's that. As usual, if you're a newbie, subscribe to the channel, you're going to learn lots of stuff on here, lots of fake versus rules coming, lots of looking at items and see what they're saying, all the top stuff. And as per usual guys, like the videos, let me know your thoughts and leave your comments on the comments box below. Just that. Guys, I'm out. I'm going to catch you up in a bit. Peace out.